Okay, setting up the project settings for the first time. You'll open CourseOcow, and once it is open, you'll hit a, a new uh, finder or main area for CourseOcow. Get your interface set up correctly. Click on the default interface that shows up, and right-click on it and do a duplicate. Don't uh, delete this, just leave it there. Um, go into your new one and give it a, a new name. Ours was uh, to be set up as a one by one. So we'll do a one by one uh, setup. It has a new name now. Open it and now you're going to want to change the size of your snooze. So since you want to set up a square uh, interface similar to Instagram, you're going to go 320 by 320 pixels, which will give you a nice square like this. You'll want these ones also to be uh, set up. So this is a snoo. This is the actual first movie, smallest numeric uh, unit that will come in. We'll have now some additional previews that come up where these are not rolling yet or not playing and it can be a picture or a movie that comes in. Um, the way we set up our uh, interface was to make these smaller so just to make them square again they're uh, actually 110 by 110 click enter and this one now double click on it single click on it 110 by 110 and I think you're starting to get the picture click enter and 110 by 110 and I think you get the picture. So what we've done is not to be too um, too crazy about what we were doing. This is probably two, 323, and this is 323. So 110, 110, 110, that's 330, 335, let's try. 36. 336 and close enough. So now we have a uh, our interface. So what we had actually done was um, since the theme of our movie was uh, shot at St. Joseph's Oratory, uh, sort of a subliminal uh, cross is going on here where we could bring these together and you see half of the uh, crucifix. Um, so this is how we set up our snooze. So settings, the name of our interface is one by one, and that's it. We'll hit save, and now we have our interface one by one. Uh, as you saw, we had pulled um, we had pulled in our uh, we had set up our project preferences before. Or project settings let's go ahead and do this and we'll call this Saint Joseph's oratory just call it Saint Joseph's or and we're going to pull in um, some of our our header so let's do this, click OK. Let's pull in our header image. And let's pull in our background image and bring it in here. So we have the two pieces here. We'll do a go to our file project settings and in our default image which is the uh, background 
default background image and the start screen is our Corsica header. And we'll click OK.